The work that I'll be presenting at the NCRI conference in Birmingham today is about what we hope will become a new treatment for neuroblastoma. Um, so it's looking at antibodies which we hope stimulate or boost the immune system um, to get immunity to neuroblastoma. Neuroblastoma is one of the most common childhood tumours. Um, it usually presents with a, a lump in the, in the tummy, um, but also unfortunately it's often spread by the time it's diagnosed. And although we can cure around 60% of children with neuroblastoma with the treatments we have with chemotherapy and radiotherapy and surgery, for those other children this one may well be another very useful treatment. We know in children with neuroblastoma that they, the child's own body makes an immune response to neuroblastoma, but in general this is too weak to be effective to control the tumour. What we hope with these antibodies that have been developing, that they will be able to boost the child's own immune response to develop effective immunity. And in the work we've been doing in the laboratory in Southampton, um, we've shown that these type of antibodies can bring about survival of 40 to 60 percent in our neuroblastoma laboratory models. We've known for uh, many years that uh, the immune system plays an important role in controlling cancers. And we believe that over time, cancers evolve and eventually escape from the immune system. And it appears that if we get the right antibodies, which can stimulate the immune system, we can actually re-engage the immune system to control cancers. And this has been shown in a number of uh, model systems now. And in fact, already, antibodies of this type, and particularly an antibody called anti-CTLA-4, is in clinical trials and having really interesting results. The problem is that it only seems to work in a limited number of patients, somewhere between 3 and 10 percent. But within those patients, it has quite a dramatic result and shows that the immune system can re-engage and control cancer. So we would hope that by getting the right combination of antibodies, particularly with a vaccine, that we may be able to actually engage the immune system in many cancers. And I'd hope eventually that we wouldn't need to use chemotherapy, we could use of these immunostimulatory antibodies or similar reagents early in the treatment. So where we'll go for now is understanding the science, understanding how these antibodies are working, what molecules they're reacting with and how those molecules trigger the immune system. And then in particular we want to know what's the optimal combination of molecules to trigger in order to stimulate a very strong response. We have to be very wary as we go into humans because we don't want to overstimulate the immune system or we'll end up with some sort of autoimmunity where the immune system reacts with the body. What we want the immune system just to react against the cancer. And so we will continue testing and we will particularly be looking at different antibodies which are highly specific for different parts of the molecule to see which are the most active. And then eventually we'll select clinical candidates and we'll take those forward into clinical trials. And that will take a number of years before we know that we have the best reagents.